good morning dear students we were able to complete chapter the beggar okay so today we will be discussing question answer of the same chapter so all of you get ready you should have notebooks and pens with you you have to write down all the details necessary details and i want that my student should be very much active in class because this chapter we have covered and we have taken so many days to cover this chapter i have explained each and every line to you and i want my student should be very much active while giving the answer okay so very first question that i am going to take is has lashkov become a beggar by circumstance or by choice so the question try to understand the question that it was his circumstances it was his situation that because of circumstances because of the situation that was prevailing in his life because of that he became beggar or it was his choice to be a beggar so you have to choose one thing so what do you think see no doubt circumstances came in his life that he was without any job okay but he became by choice because what was he doing was he taking his profession seriously he was singing in a group he was earning good amount of money but he was expelled from that group because of his bad habit that was of drinking so that's why he was not having now no choice what he has to do in order to earn money so that's why he became beggar so very clearly we can say that it was not circumstances no doubt circumstances became low in his life but it was his choice that he chose that thing to be a beggar to ask for money because if he would have if he uh, you can say had given up the drinking habit he would have become uh, he would have become something in his life but no he did not think about that and that's why he became beggar so now renuka you tell me this answer and after renuka after renuka uh, ridhika should be ready with this answer okay renuka you tell me good morning ma'am yes good morning beta give me this answer lashkov has become a beggar not by choice but by circumstances but it was his mistakes also he was a singer in russia but was sent for his drunkenness alcohol had made him weak and he could not tolerate so he took to begging for survival good very nice now ridhika you tell me same answer yes ma'am he wasn't a beggar by any stretch of the imagination circumstances forced lashkov to become a beggar lashkov was a russian chor member who was in his 40s he used to sing in the chor and was a talented singer in the chor the chor sing because of his alcoholism he lost his work he was unable to get work after leaving the recovery center due to the socialist stigma of being an alcoholic he had to resort to begging uh, to he he had to resort to begging to make ends meet therefore he chose to be a beggar because he disliked working at the time okay good just wait okay okay ridhika whatever the content you have written that was good but you were mispronouncing that word c h o i r what is its correct pronunciation can anybody tell me raise your hand can anybody tell me only one student only two three okay simran you pronounce this word yes ma'am choir russian choir choir yes 
okay so radhika its is correct pronunciation is choir okay otherwise your content quality was good now prane uh, i think prane is a fake id i think so prane show me your face otherwise i will remove you from the class show me your face i am not giving you chance to speak because i know uh, some of the students can create mess in the class they can play music also so prane you show me your face prane then i will tell you to unmute yourself and speak the answer show me your face for a while then you can keep your video off no okay yug sharma you tell me the same answer yug sharma मैम एक्चुअली ना कनेक्शन प्रॉब्लम थी तो मेरी क्लास अभी कनेक्ट हुई है मैम टू थ्री मिनट्स हुए हैं ओके okay. आप रिपीट कर दोगे क्या बताया अभी आपने क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वी वर डिस्कसिंग दैट हैज लश को बिकम अ बेगर बाय सरकमस्टेंस और बाय चॉइस सो यू हैव टू मैम आप टू मिनट्स दो मैं आपको बता देता हूं उनसे ओके सो नाउ आई वांट दिस आंसर फ्रॉम कवर नूर कवर नूर व्हाट हैव यू रिटर्न इन दिस आंसर good morning ma'am yes good morning uh ma'am uh, answer likha hai ma'am thoda likha hai suna deta hu whatever you have written you can speak beta whatever you have written am lashof was a middle aged man belonging to a russian chore he was okay, not again a... again wrong pronunciation i have just told you its pronunciation is cure again Sorry, you are pronouncing it wrong ma'am ek bari repeat karna kya hai cure एक बार फिर करना मैम ओके मैम ही वॉज नॉट ए ही वॉज नॉट ए बैगर ही वॉज ए सिख फ्रॉम हिज चोर बिकॉज ऑफ हिज ड्रिंकिंग है Yeah, because of his drinking habits, he became a beggar by choice, as he did not like to work habit at that stage. Okay. Now may I now add, add some more points? Otherwise, your answer is not complete. Okay, you yes, try to speak. Lashkov became a beggar by circumstance. He used to sing in Russian chore. But he was saying. Yog Sharma, what is its correct pronunciation? Cure. When Kavardhan mispronounced it, at that time you were uh, passing a smile, and now you are uh, mispronouncing it. Others should pass a smile now. Why don't you? I'm cure. Yes. I'm repeating my answer. Leshkov became a beggar by circumstance. He used to sing in Russian cure. But he was sacked due to his drinking habit. This led him to beg. Prane, Prane hasn't kept his camera on for a while. I told Prane, where is, where has he gone? Yes, Prane, now you speak. Leshkov had become a beggar by choice. He used to sing Russian choir, but due to his drunkest drunkenness, he was. fired from the choir after that he resorted to begging as it was only the way that was left for him to earn money by fooling people by telling them their sympathetic stories very good very nice he has arranged all the ideas so nicely very good so basically we can say that in this answer we can write down that he was singing in a russian choir okay and he was earning a good amount of money but because of his bad habit of drunkenness he was expelled you can use the word here he was expelled also or you can say he was fired he was fired from that job because of this bad habit so afterwards he did not give up that habit he continued drinking and now when he, for so so long he was not having any money so that's why he was not having any option and he thought and he chose beggar he chose begging okay so this was 
his choice not circumstances basically now let's move to next question what reason does he give to sargi for his telling lies see firstly he has told a lie that he was a student next day he told a lie that he was a village school teacher while asking for alms alms you can say begging you can use the word alms begging in this answer so while asking for begging while asking for alms he used to tell such kind of lies so what were the reason when he was caught red handed when he was caught red handed what were the reason he gave to sargi for telling such kind of lies so what were the reasons behind that so this answer i'm going to ask from daljeet yes daljeet yes daljeet what is your answer where has he gone daljeet unmute yourself and tell me this answer after daljeet nitya should be ready with the same answer okay nitya you tell me daljeet has gone somewhere Yes, Nitya, you tell me this same answer. There is too much noise around me. Where are you sitting? That there is too much noise around you. You are sitting in a theater. That there is too much noise around you. Tell me, Nitya, where are you sitting? Okay, who is going to tell me this answer? Okay, now Diljit. Yes, Diljit. Okay, Simran, you tell me this answer. After Simran, Jaslene should be ready with the same answer. Yes, Simran. Yes. Okay, Simran, start speaking. Yes, ma'am, I am speaking. But your voice is not audible. Ma'am, now. Yes, now it's okay. Now start speaking. Simran, you are not audible. What happened? Ma'am, I don't know. Ma'am, when you say I'm speaking, when you say I don't know, all the things are audible. But when you speak the answer, it is not audible. Isn't it strange? Mom, let me try once again. Okay, no problem. Jaslene, you tell me the answer by the time. Jaslene Khosla. Yes, you tell me the answer. Lashkov told the uh, truth and accepted that he was a liar. He thought that if he had spoken truth, then nobody would have helped him. Along with that, he told that he cannot get along without lying. Moreover, he didn't like to work, uh, so he had to tell lies. uh and uh, so that the people can uh, people take pity on him and give him some money okay good now arzu you tell me same answer yes arzu
Yes, Arzu, you tell me. Arzu, unmute yourself. Those who are not responding, I'm not going to mark them present. Okay, Dhiren, you tell me same answer. Yes, ma'am. When Sagi noticed the medicate, he asked what is the reason for his begging. But Lushkov, like a skillful beggar, pretended to be a teacher and, but his, uh, uh, and said that his fate fell and he became a victim of calumny and lost his job of teaching. But Sergei was a good observer and he saw two days before a man uh, like this uh, said that his student, that he was a student and was expelled from his college. Uh, uh, Sergei was disgusted by his, this, uh, by, uh, by this, uh, by act, by Lushkov, this act and uh, Leshkov confessed that he was uh, he was lying and he actually he was a formerly a, dr a drunkard man and was a part of Russian choir but who would give him job if someone would came to know that he was a drunkard so he had to beg like this okay good nice now Pranshi you tell me your answer is ready or not Pranshi Now, Nitya, noise has come down or not in your surrounding? Ma'am, now can I tell the answer? Actually, earlier option was not coming. Okay, now it has come? Yes, ma'am. Now start speaking. Yes, ma'am. Leshkov was a singer in Russian and he was sent away from the group because of his drinking problem. He lied to other people that he was a poor student or a village teacher to benefit from them. Once Sergei, an advocate, found that the beggar was lying about his poor condition and gave him a job. Okay, good. Because in this answer, we have come to know that if he would be telling, uh, he would be telling the truth. No people would give them arms. No people would give them begging. So that's why he uh, considered and he chose to tell a lie. Okay. Now let's move to next question. Next question we have is, is Lashkov a willing worker? Why then does he agree to chop wood for Sergi? Willing worker means uh, that he was uh, willing. Willing means it was his wish to work Okay, so first of all, tell that it was his wish to work or not. No, not at all. Okay, so if it, it was not his wish to work at all, that to chop wood and to do that shifting work like a potter, he was working. So it was not his wish at all. So why does he agree to chop wood for Sargi? So what was the reason that why he agreed to work for that Sargi? What was the reason? Now, Nitya, you tell me this answer. Where has Nitya gone? Raise your hand. Not able to. Okay. Nitya, now tell me. Tell me. No, Lashkov isn't a willing worker, but he still agrees to chop wood for Sergei as he wants to lose his bad habit of drinking and also wants to earn some money. Uh, so he worked for Sergei. Uh, because he wanted to solve his problems and uh, he was actually quite poor and lost his uh, uh, old job because of his uh, bad habit of drinking. So he wanted to uh, resolve this problem. And, okay. Uh, okay, but uh, in this answer, you can also add this line that he was caught red-handed also. Because when he told a lie one day before that he was working as a, he was a student or next day he lied that he was working as a village, he was working as a village school teacher. So Sargi was so smart enough that he caught him dead handed. Now the condition of Lushkov was in a trap. He was, you can see he was fallen in a trap, in a trap of his all lying that he had told a lie. So now he was not having any option to escape, to avoid from that. So that's why he had to obey to Sargi. And moreover, he was not having any other work. So from where he would be, you can say eating. He was not, he has not eaten anything for one, two days. So that's why 
he had to do that work without his willingness without his wish clear so this answer i want to ask from parmeet now parmeet after parmeet daljeet you should be ready otherwise daljeet you will be marked absent by me yes parmeet you tell me this answer and daljeet yes, also sir. yes parmeet okay beta bolo he wasn't a willing worker because he was too weak he had lost his power and stamina as a result of his drinking habit and he was also a middle aged man let's go let's go of his luggage because of malnutrition and alcoholism he is well aware that he is unable to work because of his pride and shame he consented to chop wood and he was trapped by his own words sergey on the other hand feels ashamed after its falsehoods are discovered okay good very well spoken now daljeet will be telling me the answer or not pata nahi daljeet ko kya ho gaya acha wala ye padhta tha class mein i am so surprised what happened to him even if he is not able to unmute he could send me message saksham gupta will you be able to give me answer saksham gupta yes ma'am okay very good i'm so happy to listen your yes now tell me this answer no he was not a willing worker he was too weak to work he had lost his strength and stamina due to his habit of say, drinking and uh, secondly he was a middle aged man he was agreed to chop wood because of his pride and shame मैं बस अभी तो ही दिखा है। Okay, no problem. You have tried. That's really good. I'm happy with your performance. That at least you have tried. And what we have spoken, it was good. Now, Divya, you tell Thank me the answer. Yes, ma'am. Uh, no, he was not a willing worker. His condition was too fragile to work. He had lost his strength and stamina due to his habit of drinking. secondly he was a middle aged man okay good now let's move to next question sargi says i'm happy that my words have taken effect why does he say so is he right in saying this so read this question carefully now who is going to tell me this answer see uh when he told him to come to his house for uh, come to his house regularly so lashkov started coming every uh, month you can say on the very first day of every month he started coming and he according to opinion of sergey lashkov was working there okay on every uh, on very first day of every month he is doing he was doing the work of chopping wood and he was earning money so when sergey noticed this thing he was really immensely happy that his words has effect on lashkov okay that he has stopped begging and he has started doing work actually he was right in saying this he was not right in saying this because actually lashkov was not doing that work in place of lashkov who was doing that work it was olga it was olga who was doing that work okay it was cook of sargi olga who was able to do that work okay now this answer i expect from aditya aditya are you ready with your answer aditya kahan gaya aditya aditya raise your hand you are lost somewhere in that list he has left the class nahi aa raha aditya you tell me this answer unmute yourself and tell me 
आफ्टर आदित्य रिदिमा शुड बी रेडी विद द सेम आंसर आदित्य वेयर आर यू टेल मी दिस आंसर हरिया बच्चे आदित्य इट इज वेरी सिंपल आंसर ओके रिदिमा यू टेल मी यस रिदिमा see their condition i'm going to mark them absent those who are not responding in my class na today i'm going to mark them absent jaskirat have you written a single one line on this answer jaskirat are you able to give me response jaskirat no response okay vanshika you tell me yes ma'am ma'am sir gai sir gai says i am happy that my words have taken effect he says so because he thinks that he is the reason why lashkov become a notary from being a beggar this is partially true uh, this is partially true but but sir gai is not the only one who made lashkov become who he was now Lushkov says that although he is obliged to Sergey for showing him the right path and letting him do work of chopping wood at his home, his transformation is a result of Sergey's cook Olga. She was the one who chopped wood and not Lushkov. Good, very nice. Now let's move to next question. Lashkov is earning thirty-five rubles a month. How is he obliged to Sergey for this? Obliged means how he was thankful to Olga for this. See, basically he was getting thirty-five rubles. Okay, but uh, actually when he got a job of chopping wood in that yard in Sergey's house, he was not doing that work. In place of him. Olga, cook of Sergi, she was doing that work, but Sergi was not aware of this thing that Lashkov was a work worker. He was not doing that work, but at the same time, he was also getting bad scolding from Olga. So at one time, Lashkov realized his mistake. He got, uh, you can say, that uh, got encouragement for Olga, and he started doing that work. So you can say behind his success. who was there olga was there so simran you tell me this answer simran unmute yourself and tell me this answer okay dhiren you can tell me this answer dhiren Yes, ma'am. Lashkov is earning thirty. Uh... Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, आपने मेरे को question question पूछा था. Ah, at that time, where where were you? Ma'am, वो मम्मा ने किसी काम से बुलाया था. Okay. Now you are able to give me answer or not? Yes, yes, ma'am. May I give the first answer? Yes. First of all, let the rain speak. Then you can speak. The rain, you continue. Yes, ma'am. Lashkov is earning thirty-five rubles a month, and because of uh, Sergey, as Sergey gave him a chance of a cleaner and good employment and of copying. He's not. He turned out to be a reputed notary, and is standing at the same ticket counter where Sergey was standing. But Lashkov equal could equalize Sergey was just a dream. It was because of Sergey's sheer determination and his changing of his heart when he got uh, by Olga, as Olga did all the job for Sergey when he uh, for uh, Lashkov when he was a, a drunkard and was uh, got a job in the backyard for chopping off wood. Good, nice. 
Now, Aditya, you tell me same answer. Lashkov is earning 35 uh, rubles a month. Lashkov is uh, obliged to Sergei. Had there been no encounter with Sergei, Lashkov would have been still begging on the streets. Sergei gives him an opportunity to uh, meeting Olga. The whole incident changed the way Lashkov thinks of his future. He stint with Sergei and Olga gives him a new lease of life and helps him to getting a decent job where he earns 35 rubles a month. Okay, good. Now we are running out of time. Time is going to get over. Okay, so we will continue this um, chapter tomorrow also and I will be taking one of the grammar topic also. Okay. Uh, by the time you complete your notebook side by side, whatever the questions we have discussed today, you do all these five questions in your fair notebook. And from uh, day after tomorrow, I'm going to collect your notebooks. Okay, because our syllabus will be over. Tomorrow our syllabus will be over and afterwards I will collect notebooks. Okay, so it's better that you complete it side by side.